Hey guys, so in today's video I'm going to be teaching you how to earn lots of gingerbread men quickly, fast, um, and just giving you tips. By the way, I'm giving away Robo Dogs, so here's how to enter. I'm gonna give you tips on like the ways that you can do it that you might already know about, how you can like do it better and like make more gingerbread men. That sounds so confusing, but it will make sense when you're watching the video, don't worry. So I'm just going to break down how to earn the most gingerbread in each minigame and stuff. And yeah, let's just get into it. So I filmed this, by the way, when like the thing just came out. So as you can see, I already had 2,500, like when it literally just came out. So like, it's you know, kind of good. So I just thought I'd show you how I did it. Obviously, I have more now, but like, I don't know, just, I don't know what I'm talking about. Let's just get into the video. Okay, so first we're going to talk about the gingerbread men racing thing on the ice skate, you know, that, I don't know what it's called. But anyways, we're going to talk about this. So, the first thing is that you, there's not like, I mean, there's no rush, okay? This mini game, by the way, comes every uh, half an hour. So, you can skate on the ice as much as you want, so you can practice and stuff. And you can also race, but um, the gingerbread respawn every half an hour, I think. No, 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 not every half an hour. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah? Okay, so basically, <laughs> it's basically exactly like the Halloween update, where um, the gingerbread respawn every half an hour. Is it half an hour? And then, so does the Frost Fury thing. But, so basically there's a new game every 15 minutes, so say for example, at 2 o'clock if the gingerbreads respawn, that means that at 2.15 the Frost Fury is going to be hungry, and then at 2.30 you're going to be able to do the gingerbread thing again, and then so on and so on. So make sure that like, obviously I don't think the gingerbread men disappear when the Frost Fury is hungry, but if you don't collect the gingerbread men in time, then they will, like in another half an hour, they'll still be there. But you could have got like two lots, if you know what I mean. I don't know if that's confusing. Just get it when they come, okay? <laughs> Just get them as soon as they respawn so that you don't forget. Um, because it just helps, seriously. I don't know how to explain it, but just do that. <laughs> Also, another tip is like you can practice ice skating even when the gingerbread men aren't there. It's fun to race. You can race your friends. You can try and beat your high score and stuff. Um, I'm not that good at it yet. But yeah, you can just do that because it helps you like learn how to not bump into the penguin. And also you just get used to it. And it becomes less of like a, like a chore that you want to, you know, complete to get gingerbread men. It becomes fun. And also... If you are gonna get like knocked by a penguin, but you're near the edge of the ice skating rink, just get knocked by the penguin. Don't move and then get off the ice skating thing. Cause if you get off it, you have to start the whole thing all over again. So just keep that in mind. Also another fun thing to do on the ice skates, if you've ran out of, you know, gingerbread things and you're getting bored of racing try to write your name in the ice skating thing it's actually really difficult but just try and it's really fun and you can like do competitions with your friends who writes their name the best but you can't see their tracks so just ask them to screenshot it or look at their screen keep in mind that doing the snow doing this race thing is the easiest way i think to earn gingerbread men and when you first start like when you first race like for the first ever time you get free 800 gingerbread men so you get 800 gingerbread men for free so if you haven't spoke to that guy like that little golden penguin speak to him if you haven't done that already because it literally gives you 800 gingerbread men for free which is a lot so do that every single day you get to build five snowmen um, and if you build all of them, then you earn 300 gingerbread men. So you can basically get like 300 gingerbread men for free every day. So here's where they are. There's one right outside the nursery. There's one right outside of the hospital. And then the next one is there's two like near the camping place. So I'll show you where they are right now. 
So I think you can see one of them over here, but let's go to this one first. So there's one here. And then the next one is over here, not too far away from that. And after this one, we only have one more left. So like I said, usually I would just do the gingerbread men race straight away, but because I was filming and trying to show you where the snowmen people were, I didn't, but recommend to do that straight away in case you forget a new one spawn. But I did it right after I showed some other stuff anyways so here's the last gingerbread men that i needed to collect so there's one near like the uh coffee shop and stuff and so by doing that every single day you get to take 300 gingerbread men which is actually quite good and also i you can only do this once for the whole update but you get to build a snowball launcher so i've already done it so i can't show you but there's where one of the things are so you tap search and you have to find three parts of it so the other part is over here you just click search like i said i can't show you me digging and stuff because for some reason when i was doing it for the first time i did video it but it didn't like save so that's great but anyway and then the last part is right over here so after you search you'll get a free snowball launcher and also some gingerbread men this is what the snowball launcher looks like i can't remember how much gingerbread men you get but yeah you get gingerbread men i'm pretty sure so also if you don't want to like just if you can't remember where they are every day the snowmen then you can come and talk to this winterkin guy i don't know what he, yeah he gives you clues and riddles on things that you need to do for example i was right waiting to do the frost fury and he said something about like melting ice yeah with like food in it that's like the whole point of the frost, frost fury game so and he also tells you where the snowmen are if you can't find them your well, riddles and stuff but anyways this is where the frost fury game is and now i'm going to give you tips on how to get maximum like gingerbread men like the most points you can by doing the frost fury game so some of these i didn't even find out until recently so you can come in here whenever you want but let's read this so it says feeding frenzy mini game tips melt ice and collect food for the frost fury food further in the cave is worth more points so you can come into this place whenever you want not just when the game starts so i recommend just learning how to not fall over and stuff I and mean, that sounds super dumb but the ice and stuff like when you skate around on the ice it's actually hard and also going on these things like freezes you that's one of the ways that like it's really easy to waste loads of time so just try not to you know get frozen or fall in the ice and also i feel like it looks so weird when this thing eats you so i thought i'd just include that in so the best ways to do it is just run for your life <laughs> and spam tap the screen when you're near the ice things i'm pretty sure the more you tap the more points you can get so do that and also i recommend just keep running down there but also sometimes the ice things like spawn right behind you so when that happens make sure to turn around and like get that as well before you move on so i used to just stay in the first bit all the time um because i thought i felt like the ice bit was harder so you know it makes sense to just stay in this bit all the time but actually that's not true because if you're on the ice bit it gives you more points so I recommend just going straight forward in a line and trying to get as much points as you can and just try not to fall down like if you fall down or get frozen it actually just wastes so much time like not so much but like it's a two minute mini game you need all the time you can get so just try not to fall down and look this is what i mean when i said that they can spawn right behind you so make sure that you know you go behind you sometimes because imagine you like get really far and then there's none left like that's just awkward that just wastes so much of your time so make sure to do that it helps a lot and yeah look this is what i mean okay it's actually really hard see it just like knocked me over so it's really hard to actually not fall down so go in there and practice like before the mini game starts you can practice in there it helps a lot if you just learn how to like control yourself on the ice and like get the rhythm of it 
it can help a lot because it can prevent you from falling down which can save you more time which can allow you to get more points which can make you get more gingerbread men so that's like i think a very good tip to just practice and just don't get frozen and don't fall down because it just wastes so much time seriously like we need that extra time so there's all the tips i know on how to get gingerbread men if i find out like a lot more i'll make a part two so anyways my birthday is monday so join me because i'm playing with all of you guys on my birthday well as many as you can my joins are on for followers follow me this is my username that's my username for everything by the way twitter instagram discord everything so yeah and have an amazing day guys keep dreaming big i love you so much bye